Hey there, Stephen Pegg from Loves to Travel. Thanks for checking out our videos. Always appreciate when you watch our videos. Heading up to Target, heading up to Target. And there's a reason we're doing Target today. And a lot of it has to do with some news articles that I've read this week. Before we get into that though, hon, I'd love for people to hit that subscribe button below if they've not already done so. Also the bell notification button below because that'll get you notified when we put up future videos. Love for you to hit the uh, like button too because that'll help us out immensely. I read an article earlier this week and I forwarded it to you, Peg, um, about excess inventory at a lot of the retailers, including Target, including Walmart, um, also including uh, like Kohl's and things like that, where now they've got too much inventory of stuff that they bought during the pandemic and they got to get rid of it. And now that the shipping um, issues are starting to slowly resolve themselves, they're being glutted with inventory. And one of the things that we want to look at is uh, in that article that I read, especially about Target, is appliances and electronics are going to be starting to be deeply, deeply discounted. So I want to check out and see what the prices are and see if they've started discounting them yet or not. And then uh, we'll see what goes on. Right, honey? Yeah, um, I think Father's Day is coming around the corner. So we'll see if there's anything you would like for Father's Day in year two. I'm going to swing around this parking lot because I, I hate crossing like this and having people, I want to be far enough back so that I can see cars that are coming. Uh, but we want to get parked. We want to head inside. We want to look at some of the prices. And keep in mind, it's not just Target that is going to be discounting stuff. It's going to be retailers everywhere as everyone's stocked up or started, thought they'd stocked up for people to buy. And as prices go up, especially gas prices uh, and inflation, inflation at a 40 year high. You haven't seen inflation like this since the 80s. So we're gonna look at prices inside. So let's get parked and we'll head inside. So what I read in that article, uh, not so much clothing, but probably clothing as well, but more of appliances and electronics. Uh, they're gonna start, and the word that they used in the article was deeply discounting. So we're heading back to the appliances first, cause I wanna see, let's cut through here. Deeply discounting? What do you consider deeply discounting? I don't know. That's the whole thing. I don't know what you would consider deeply discounting. You see, for me, deeply discounting is at least 50% off. But I don't, I don't so, think they're going to go 50% off. You don't think so? No. But like I said, that's what I consider deeply discounting. But it could not be that. Yeah. But it also looks like they're doing inventory because this is like a... Oh, inventory. those are yeah, those are inventory tags. So they're looking at inventory, see how much inventory they have. Hmm. I think that's what they're doing because you need to know how much you have before you start discounting. Yeah. So that's why they're doing an inventory check. Because you see, some things, even though the register comes in, sometimes it's not correct. Yeah, so this is all inventory. Yeah. You, even the diapers. Oh, I want to see, as long as we're back here, formula. I think hopefully that should have resolved itself. But I do like this about Target. And everybody talks about this, especially when you have little babies. And ones who are in diapers, they do have things like if you spend 100 you get a $20 gift card mm -hmm. right now until 6 11 for diapers. And this is always good to have, especially when you try to save money. Well, the biggest problem that I have with diapers is if you try and buy in advance, because our kids both had diaper parties, mm -hmm. but the kids outgrow the diapers. So what do you do with the ones that they've outgrown? If you, if you know if you want kids in the future, you can save them or you yeah. can... Donate them to the next diaper party. Because usually when people um, in the social circle, um, in, in their social circles, they all usually have children at the same time. Pretty close to it, yeah. What was the, what's this $5 with circle? It's this Ninjamas. Oh, okay. Nighttime underwear. So not only you're going to get the free $20 gift card by spending 100 bucks, but you also get $5 with circle? Right, if you buy the Ninjama oh, underwear. That, oh, those are like um, pull-ups, aren't they? Right. Okay. So I wanted to see if they had formula. Um, I don't know if that's starting to resolve itself or not. So would that be back in this area? Yes, it would. Oh, down this aisle, yeah. It is somewhat. There is some formula. There is? You want to tell me where? Right here. There's Similac. A little Similac. A little. They got some Enfamil. Sensitive. So there is Similac. Not so there's this Kedda, Kedda Mill formula. It's uh, coming. Ken, Kenda Mill. Right. Yeah. That's coming. But there is formula there. 
And there's some here. And they do have some Emphamil. Mm -hmm, right here, Similac Totacare. Emphamil, Nutra. Mm -hmm. Infant Formula, Nutra Pro. It's more Similac. Right. So they do have some, but again, there's not a lot. Right. They do have it. Yeah. So hopefully that uh, that supply chain issue will get taken care of because they did reopen that factory finally. That reopened that factory up in uh, Sturgis, Michigan, mm -hmm. uh, uh, the Abbott factory that was shut down that made formula. They did restart it this past week. So they said that uh, formula will start coming out of that factory by the end of the month. So here we are uh, getting it back to the electronics. It's the TVs that we want to talk about because yeah. the TV pricing supposedly is really good. Oh, there's a big one right there at the end. Let's see what the price is on that. That's a Vizio. That's a 70 inch Vizio for 600 bucks. Oh, that's you only say $40 on this one. Yeah. That's not deeply discounting. That is not deeply discounting. Let's go to the back wall and see what they got on the back wall. I see they have sale uh, stickers on every TV back here almost. There's a, what is that, a 50 inch Vizio you can save 50 bucks on. So it's 329. That's not bad. 65 inch. This is what I want to get. Another Vizio. That's 130 bucks off. 499 for a Vizio for a 65 inch. Um, you got a Samsung 65 inch there, Smart 4K for 150 bucks off, 649. Um, down there you've got a 70 inch Vizio uh, 4K. 40 bucks off, 75 inch 4K Vizio, 50 bucks off. I don't think these are deeply discounted. They are on sale. They are on sale. And we did look up, I did look up how far are you supposed to sit away from the TV mm -hmm. and how big of a size you're supposed to have. So technically, if you were what? I did eight feet. Mm -hmm. It's like 55 inches. Right. So we had the right size there. But if Steve watches it and bad, we're which is like 12, 12 feet, yeah. it would be 70 inches. I can't fit a 70 inch TV no. on my wall. <laughs> no, we I can can't. get a 65 inch, that is just barely fit, but I can't get a 70 inch. Right, but like I said, so it would be, you would be off on one and mm. not the other. So does that mean you need to have two TV sizes? Well, we have a we have a 50 inch right now and it's too small for both of us, we said. Actually, for me, it was perfectly fine. Yeah, <laughs> for him, he, of course, guys always want a bigger TV. There's a TCL Roku, a 65 inch for uh -huh. 290 off. That's more discounted than I've seen. Right, 290. That's not bad. 100 bucks off the Westinghouse 65 inch Ultra 4K. Uh, that's 499. You save 100 bucks on that. So yeah, they are discounting them, but I don't. Well, look up here. There's a 55 inch TCL, 170 off. So I mean, they are discounting them. I did take a look at this one because it's about the size we're looking at. Right. The funny thing is because. Target is discounting. Other stores are matching it. So Best Buy is matching the same exact TV for the same price. Mm -hmm. So it's making other retailers match the pricing on certain items. So some of other electronics that uh, is uh, discounted. I, I don't want to say I'm deeply discounted, but at least discounted. How about printers? Yeah, because of home offices. Oh, people right. are not doing that. home offices because they're now they're going back to work. They don't need printers anymore. Yeah, differences in printers here. There's one that's fifty dollars off. Uh, there's one that's twenty dollars off. There's one down there, the rod of it looks like that was forty dollars off. So if you need a printer, you might be able to get a printer target. But again, is Best Buy matching these prices? Probably. You just have to show them and they'll match it. So other retailers are matching. And then you know what the big A does is they do like a big meta search mm -hmm. and they basically like a, like a spider crawl. Right. And if it's lowest somewhere else, they'll look at Target, they'll look at Best Buy and they'll price match that. Oh, wow. Yeah, well, the big A. <laughs> the big A. Uh, oh, Everybody the, knows who the big A is. Yeah, well, the, a lot of people say it's the big A for another word than the one we're thinking of. <laughs> so um, did you want to look at appliances? Because apparently, well, here's some more down here. What, what are these? Is it laptops? Yeah, these are laptops. Yeah, 10% off. 10% off laptops. Save with purchase. Yep. Wow. So if you need a laptop, there you go. Keyboards are on sale too. Well, it would make sense because here's a, what is this? Here's a mouse, mm -hmm. a gaming mouse for $24.99. Logitech gaming mouse. Mm -hmm. 
That's what the kids use, I think, or at least some something mm, similar. Theirs is a little bit more advanced than that. Yeah, true that. Um, what are a, these? Here's one too. They don't have any. It's a nine ninety nine mouse. Mm hmm. Well, they've also got Nest systems up on sale. What's this one? Oh, it's a modem bundle. Yeah, bundle. the modem bundle, which we've got in our house, by the way, and we love it. Uh, I don't know if it's this one, but it's uh, similar. Um, mm hmm. This one's a hundred dollars off, hundred and sixty-nine dollars for that. Actually, this is a good price for a two-pack. It really is. So ours is very similar to it, like Steve said, and it works really well. I can't remember which one we got. It was recommended by a friend, and uh, it's working really, really well. I think ours is the Deco. Oh, is that the one? But oh, I did want to tell you the really interesting thing about these. First of all, of course, they need an app, mm -hmm. and I hate adding another app. Mm -hmm. But it was really interesting once the app went in and you basically look at what is on your internet. You know how many how many devices were on our Wi-Fi? Our fridge, um, our blink, um, how many other things? Everybody's phone. Right. Any, anybody that connects to our Wi-Fi shows up on your app. Right, so if you have your iPad or if you, because we don't like to use data on our phone even though I don't know Wi-Fi, it has unlimited, it's still it's faster mm -hmm. on our Wi-Fi. Our original system we had for 10, we were averaging 20 to 20, 20 to 30 yeah. based off people like an iPad or someone was working from home or um, it was a phone. So basically iPad, phone, computer, laptop. So if, four, if there was four people in a house, you had at least four items on there. That's 20 items. I didn't realize our refrigerator was Wi-Fi. But our fridge was Wi-Fi. We have an Alexa on the Wi-Fi. The Roomba is Wi-Fi. All these things are on Wi-Fi. You don't realize it. Our original Wi-Fi router was set up for 10. Right. You could put 10 on there. We were wondering why our Wi-Fi was so slow. Now we know this thing will handle it. These so, things will handle it. Right. So that's the only reason why we were talking about the Nest Wi-Fi or something similar to it, a mesh Wi-Fi system, is because do take a look at what you're using. Mm-hmm. If your Wi if your Wi-Fi is slow, don't blame your Wi-Fi. Look at your router. Oh, even a Roku or a Fire Stick, that's one. That's Wi-Fi. Like your smart TV, that's one. Mm -hmm. You don't realize that. So if you have three smart TVs in the house, it's three devices. Yep. So I would like you to now sit back and take a look and count how many items in your house that's Wi-Fi. If you could put that in the comments below, we would like to know how many you have and who has the most. Yeah, How's I'd love that? to know that. That would be funny. I've got 132 items on my Wi-Fi. You never know. I bet you somebody does. But like I said, just count everybody. Like the phone, the Roku, or the smart TV. And this system tells you who gets on and how many is on there. Yeah, if you have slow Wi-Fi, look at these things. What's his name? Today? Okay, first of all, what's it's his Grogu. name? Grogu. 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 And you didn't know his name. I couldn't remember what his name is, but now I know because it's right there. Baby Yoda. Grogu. Uh, by the way, you, you notice my shirt? There's a reason I'm wearing this today. Why? Because I'm watching um, the new Star Wars series on Disney Plus. Um, Obi Wan. Obi Wan Kenobi. You oh my gosh, you forgot that you Obi -Wan. told me. You told ben me. Ken, I was thinking Ben Kenobi, but it's Obi Wan Kenobi. I've watched two of the episodes so far. It is amazingly good, and it picks up about just so you know. I'm not going to give you a spoiler alert on the series, but it picks up ten years after Darth Vader is created. Not not I'll be not. Anakin's. So basically, when Luke Skywalker is ten years old. Basically, mm, yeah, about that because it takes it picks up right after um, Obi Wan uh, almost kills uh, Anakin, right. and then Snape turns him into Darth Vader at the right. end of that movie. Right. So this picks up about ten years after that. I sleep with a fan. I have since I was a little kid. I sleep with a fan on. They need the noise. I have tinnitus. I have actually tinnitus bad, uh, and the fan kind of covers and masks the noise. When I first started buying these box fans. They were like 11 bucks. Remember when you started buying them for me? Mm -hmm. They were like, what, 13 bucks when you and I right. got married. $22.99 now for a box fan. And this is the cheapest one out there, the Lasco. $22.99 for a box fan. They do have other fans here, don't get me wrong. Uh, but that's the one that uh, just surprised me. $22.99. You wanted to look at what, heaters? Well, it's not the season for heaters. 
They got room air conditioners. Well, speaking of room air conditioners, it is supposed to get hot in our area oh next week. So please, 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 if it gets too warm in your house and you don't have air conditioner, go to someplace else cool. It's supposed to, in our area, um, hit uh, mid-90s during the week next week with a heat index of over 100. And the problem is, is not the heat, but the humidity is mm -hmm. going to be a pain in the neck for a lot of people. So you're right. If you don't have air conditioning in your house, you can't get cool, get to some place where you can. There would be a lot of uh, cooling centers opened up in our city. I know that. Uh, just be careful next week, all right? You want to look at appliances. And cooking wear, because that's what they would have too much of. Oh, my gosh. And I can tell right now. Look at the sales stickers. The whole cooking section, all the basically cookware is on sale. They're not deeply discounted. No, but they're on sale. Everything here. We have one of these. It's not this color, but we have one of these. This is great for making pancakes with, mm -hmm. just so you know. And French toast. Um, pan sets, they have pan sets down there, $20 off pan sets. So this is not deeply discounted. No, but not It at needs all. to be deeply discounted because this stuff is not going to move. <laughs> no, no, it is on sale, but it's not deeply discounted. Now we have Califon pans, don't we? Mm -hmm. So, but you bought them at Sam's Club. It's a Costco. Costco, uh, the Califon set at Costco, mm -hmm. which you still haven't opened. I opened it. Oh, you did? Yes. Oh, okay. Actually, our frying pan is wearing out. Oh, okay. Remember, the frying pan is the one that gets used all the time. Yeah, that's, that's why right. I keep buying frying pans because I go through so many frying pans. Yeah, it's the twelve-inch one that we use right. more than anything else. So yeah, so so you know my the twelve-inch jumbo fryer which is basically the one I use. It is $49.99, now $42.49. But remember, I bought my set, I think, for $149.99, mm -hmm. and it had like six, 15, 16 pieces. Yeah, had, but again, half of them were lids, remember that. Right. So, but you did get your big 12-inch pan, which is what you care about. They've got more over here. There's more cookware over here. That's what we said. Cookware would probably be the one that's on sale. Yeah, more pan sets. Well, they've got a couple going on sale anyway for appliances, toasters. $5 off the Oster toaster, $4 off that toaster. Well, that's not a toaster. What is that? No, that's in the wrong place. Okay. Oh, it is? Okay. Yeah, these are all toasters. The Ninja Foodie Flip Toaster. That's 30 bucks off. Oh, oh, the Flip Toaster? I've heard good things oh, and bad things. The funny thing about the Flip Toaster, I do have a great story for this. We had this wonderful, wonderful toaster. Uh, I don't remember the name of it, but it would like slow, it would make perfect toast in less than a minute. Mm -hmm. Not a th like you could get three minute toast in a minute. It was perfect. Mm -hmm. And one day I do it and it starts burning. I'm like, what the heck is going on? And I can't get it cleaned out and clean out. So we ended up basically figuring out and there was cheese at the bottom. Oh, I heard this story. I remember this. So one of my children, Andy, actually, in his younger days, found on the internet, and the story was to flip your toaster on the side so you can make grilled cheese sandwiches, grilled toasted cheese sandwiches. So he did that, and it didn't go very well. Yep. And he ruined my toaster. Yeah. And now they have one for this, so it would be funny if I bought him this for Wait. his birthday or Christmas and tell him, guess what, honey? You're going to be making that grilled cheese sandwich you owe me. <laughs> it's only 100 bucks. It's probably going to get discounted more, I'll guarantee I know. that. So I just thought that was a really funny story when they actually now can do that. They've got uh, a, gorma, uh, a gourmia down here. The air fryer? So the air fryer, yeah. So again, why are we looking at sale prices at Target? Because the article that we read earlier this week is that Target has a glut of uh, excess inventory of appliances and electronics, and they're going to start um, deeply discounting a lot of them. We see sale prices, but I don't see deeply discounted yet. However, they must have done it for this one because whatever was here, the Ninja, was 169 normally, $99 on sale, and they're all gone. Right, and same thing with this one. Yeah, and then below that, 269 normally, 179 now, that's still there. And then uh, 279 normally 199 that's still there. 
329 normally for 199 that's still here so that's deeply discounted but there's some ninja right here yeah actually we don't have a foodie we don't have a ninja foodie we never got one no we like we never have an instapot now they would discount the instapot i would think about buying one a lot of people have told me that they've got an instapot and they cook or swear religiously by it but the funny thing is we still don't have one no we don't have one yet you do have a lot of crock pots i think we've got like five crock pots Go Ninja, go Ninja, go. What's that from, honey? Oh, I know what that is. Go Ninja, go Ninja, go. Go, 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 go. <laughs> uh, Raphael, Leonardo, um, who are the other Donatello. Two? Donatello and uh, Michelangelo. Who was your favorite, honey? I don't remember. I don't know. I liked Michelangelo. You did? Of course you got a student who know what we're talking about. Uh, no, I'm not going to tell them. they got to tell me. Um... Ninja, there's some stuff on sale from Ninja. There's some Hamilton Beach on sale. There's a Nutra Bullet on sale there, honey. So again, appliances um, starting to go on sale. Not deeply discounted yet, but starting to go on sale. Nutra Bullet blender, he's talked about that. There is the Oyster blender. Oh, and there's the Ninja blender right above it. Right next to the oyster blender. And these are what they look like outside of the box. This is just a friendly reminder that Jip peanut butter has been recalled. Um, Target has removed them all from the shelves, but what also is happening is because Jip is no longer on the shelves, that means Peter Pan and Skippy are no longer on shelves either because people are buying them. Um, we were lucky enough to get a can of Peter Pan, or a jar of Peter Pan, last week at Kroger, but they ran out already. Right, so I want to let you know, you could return it back to the store or file online mm -hmm. at GIF. We call it Peanut Butter Recall, there's a website, and I'll put the website right here, so you know which one it is. And file and for coupons, and they'll give you coupons mailed to you. A lot of times, and especially like with Costco and Sam's, you don't even have to take it back. Because they uh, just show your card, like at Costco and Sam's, show your card if you like bought those two packs of, uh, of GIF. Mm -hmm. They've got your receipt on the computer, and they'll just refund your money that way. Uh, we did it that way, and they just gave me a store credit. So we did buy a couple food items. Of course, Steve had to buy this Mickey bars. That's what I found. I found Mickey bars. This was the last one, too. They didn't have any more. And that was seven thirty nine. Mm -hmm. Which has gone up. It was 6 something last week, the last time we bought it. I got myself some popsicles. I love popsicles. I did get the sugar-free ones last time. I don't like the sugar-free ones. And I did get myself some bagels. So we I did buy a couple things while we're here. Right. So the, my bagels were three sixty-nine. I think your popsicles were four seventy-nine or something. something. Like that, yeah. So we are picking up a few items. So we're going to wrap things up here at Target today. And again, the main reason we came to Target. Not to get Mickey bars, but we did get Mickey bars. But the main reason we came to Target was to look at some of the prices because of an article that we read earlier this week about an excess of inventory of electronics and appliances at uh, not only Target, but also all the major retailers right now. And they're starting to discount. And the word I read was deeply discounted. We didn't see deeply discounted though, did we? No, but I think they're looking at inventory right now because we saw a lot of inventory tags. Mm -hmm. So I think every store is trying to find out exactly how much inventory they have. And then they'll decide after that once they get the inventory counts. Well, as the shipping woes um, on the West Coast start to abate, uh, and it is starting finally, the shipping lanes are starting to reopen back up again. And you're starting to see things back in the store again. Um, you're going to see a lot of excess inventory. But the thing you're also going to see is your spring and summer items are going to show up in the late summer, early fall. <laughs> your your winter items are showing, you still have winter items. I guarantee that some of your discounters like um, TJ Maxx and so on and so forth, they're going to have a lot of that stuff too. So you're going to make, we might do a TJ Maxx or a Marshall's um, road trip to see what they've got. Well, one of this is it's not the product is the wrong product yes exactly it's not it's for example the product that they bought was basically for people staying at home mm -hmm. so more baking goods that's why we saw computers on sale at walmart i actually saw a 99 dollars chromebook really well, yeah it, it, the ratings weren't very good because i did take a look at that I'm like oh 99 for a chromebook but 
they are out there and so people are starting to discount because the wrong product is being brought in because people are not going back to work so they need something different mm -hmm. it's like when everybody started going back to work there was a shortage of lipstick yep here's the deal over the next couple of months start looking for sales because you're going to find them um, electronics appliances I don't think clothing so much but maybe you'll see clothing too because as you mentioned the wrong season is here right now or coming in um, so watch out for the sales watch out for the deeply discounted items you're gonna be able to get a TV really cheap um, I almost bought that four hundred ninety nine dollar sixty five inch TV that they have in there almost but I think the prices are going to come down even further. So keep an eye out for those. Thanks for watching this video. Hopefully we can help you out a little bit anyway. If you've not hit that subscribe button below, please do so. All the, also the bell notification button below because that will get you notified when we put up future videos. And we are going to keep looking at these sale prices, by the way. Um, and also make sure you hit the like button too because that will help us out immensely. Thanks for watching. Hopefully we can save you a little bit of money. I'm going to have myself a Mickey bar. You have yourself a magical day.